Hey everybody, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite keyboards on the channel so far, the Varmillo VB87M, a Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. So yes, not only do you get the functionality of a mechanical keyboard, you get the freedom of a wireless keyboard. Now when I first saw this available on Mastrop, which by the way is where I bought it from, I immediately said to myself, I need this. If you're familiar with my channel in the past, I reviewed about 10 other keyboards, so technically, no, I don't need this, but I really wanted it. For many reasons, too. One, obviously, being it's a mechanical wireless keyboard, that itself is enticing enough. The second reason was its appearance. These have nice white front printed keycaps, so the character is printed on the front of the key as opposed to on the top, leaving its appearance very clean looking. Also, you have the option to add LED lights to it as well, and obviously, since my setup theme is a white and black setup, with the white keycaps and the black keyboard base, gotta go with white LED lights as well. Now, I'll get into the options available for this keyboard, and there are a ton of them, but first, a little overview. The keyboard is a TKL keyboard, meaning it's 10 keyless, so you don't have the number pad, making it more compact. Its construction is pretty solid. Very solid, actually. It's a plastic keyboard, but it's very heavy. In fact, it's only four ounces lighter than my Corsair Gaming K70 keyboard, which actually has a number pad and is made of brushed aluminum and anodized metal. So this thing's a weapon. On the bottom, you have five surface pads so it doesn't scratch or move on your desk with two feet to elevate its backside. You'll also find a mini USB port for charging when the battery is low and a nice little channel there to route your cable either out the back, left or right side for better cable management. Now there is no physical power button or on and off switch. Instead, you have to turn it on by pressing the function key and the insert key at the same time. It will then begin to search for a pairing device. To turn it off, you hold down the insert key for three seconds. And then to brighten the LED lights, you press the function key and the up arrow. There are four levels of brightness on the keyboard, which I think are neither too dull nor too bright at its highest setting. So they did a good job, I feel. Now getting into its performance, this is where I was truly blown away. People may shake their head to using Bluetooth peripherals. Latency! Well, guess what? I tested the Varmelo keyboard and my wired Corsair Gaming K70 keyboard with an input latency testing program, and the results were this. Pretty much nothing. Now granted, there are tons of different factors that play in when you are testing latency, and especially when you're gaming online, but just to the normal eye, there was no lag at all or difference between the two. And I played a ton of games online with the keyboard, and I can definitely back it up because I didn't notice any input lag at all due to it being a Bluetooth device. Now on this keyboard, I have Gateron clear switches. The reason being, because when I wanted to buy it, browns were sold out and I didn't really want reds again. So I figured, what the heck, let's try something new. So I went with the Gateron clears, mainly because they were cheaper, but meh. Now I did some research prior to purchasing them and everywhere I saw the two key words, buttery smooth. And they couldn't have been more spot on. These are by far the smoothest switches I have ever used. Here's a little sound test for you guys. So prepare your ears. So yes, very smooth, I love them. Not only that, they are incredibly light. They only require 35 grams of actuation to register, opposed to MX Cherry Red's 45 grams. So you barely have to even touch the keys. And while we're on the topic of other switches and such, let me just tell you about the other options available to you when you go to purchase it. You can buy the keyboard in MX Cherry Red, Black, Green, or Gray switches, or gather on Blue, Brown, Clear, Red, or Black. You could choose to either have a white or black case, which is what is housing the keyboard. You can get front printed keycaps in white, front printed mint green keycaps, which by the way are very sexy and eye catching. Nice catch, Kyle. Or you can get them in their top printed die sub keycaps, which are like a light gray. Lastly, you could choose from having no LED lights inside, white, red, or blue LEDs. I had the white lights and they're extremely like a cool white, almost like a light blue. I kind of wish they were more of a pure white color. But now while we're on the topic of things that I wish could have been different, I'll throw some minor cons at you. I do wish there was a physical on and off button on the back just to make it easier to flip a switch on and off rather than holding down keys. And one last thing, you do need to purchase a Bluetooth receiver to use this. I was not aware of that when I bought it and I spent probably like a good hour or so trying to pair it at first before I finally discovered that I needed to buy one. 
They do not include one in the box, unfortunately, but I bought one off of Amazon for like $10, a little USB dongle, and it did the trick just fine. Now, in terms of battery life for the keyboard, truly, I don't know. I've been using it for about a week so far, uh, give or take maybe 10 to 15 hours, and there really is no LED indicator or battery indicator anywhere on the keyboard. I have read online some forms that people have had up to 200 hours of battery life with this before it died, and that really wouldn't be too shocking considering Bluetooth 4.0 is pretty low power. So, you know, I don't really know as of yet. I do wish there was some sort of battery indicator, but I would expect probably around 150 hours. That, that, that seems like a reasonable uh, expectation. So do I love this keyboard? Yes, there are some minor cons that might be a deal breaker for some people, but the fact that it is wireless, it looks extremely nice. This is probably gonna be my daily driver from here on out until the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard comes out, replacing my Corsair K70 as my daily keyboard. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Varmillo VB87M wireless mechanical keyboard. I really love it. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to show your support. If you have any questions, you can comment down below or hit me up on Twitter at randomfrankp and give me a follow on there. I'm always doing channel sneak peeks and stuff like that. And last, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I've done a ton of tech videos in the past and if you like this kind of review style, you're not gonna wanna miss out on some stuff in the future, so definitely hit that subscribe button. All right guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm Random Frank P. Have a good day.